We're running a warrant today on a location that supposedly has a lot of weapons inside and is positioned directly across the street from an elementary school. By all means, do not let him get inside that school. We're gonna have to hit this with a lot of precision so that we can get everything locked down at one time. My team is gonna go through the front door. Another team is gonna hit the back side of the house. A third team is gonna go upstairs through an interior stairwell. My team's gonna be staged in an APC with ladders attached to the side of it. It'll get us up to the window. We'll dump a bang in the window and then cover the entry team coming up the stairs. All these uh, four fingers of this assault have to work together in unison. If, if one finger fails, that jeopardizes and compromises one of the other teams. About a minute and a half, guys. Right here, guys. Right here. Minute and a half. Hold on to me, Steve. Don't let me fly. We're ten sec five seconds out. Ready? Two, go, go, go. one. We're good. Go, go, We're moving. Go, go. Okay, moving. I got it. I got it. Go, Top's clear. Ready to go left. Sit down. Watch your driver. Watch your driver. Watch your driver. Get him. Get him. Come on. Keep going. 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 Keep Okay, we got ice. Oh, oh. Police! 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 found meth and two females upstairs. So it was a, it was a good hit. I think we caught them, caught them off guard. That's what we try to do. We found a guy in a darkened area just watching the monitor. He had the monitor here, but he had, the, he had, he had his computer here, and he's playing cards. And then we banged it, and he, was, he had a dull barrel shotgun sitting here next to the deal with him. We got great guys in here, and Hamill. We drove up, alleged suspect was outside. Another alleged suspect was sitting in this passenger seat right here. He looked like he might have get ready to run. I gave him verbal commands and, and got him down the ground right here. And they found a, a pistol over there on the other side that he was messing with. I was at the wrong place at the wrong time. That's all I can say. The circus came to town on this one. Anytime you have multiple hits like this or multiple arms on a hit like this, and can get it coordinated and choreographed the way you want it to, that's achievement. Inside this residence, we found crystal meth, amphetamine in several different locations through the house, as well as uh, hidden inside one wall. The little classrooms here, this is for the first, second, third graders, you know, no more than, you know, 75 yards away. And when the parents pick the kids up on our surveillance, they line up right next to his house. It's a bad situation to be selling one of the most dangerous drugs on the street, methamphetamine. Texas state law states that if you're in a drug-free zone that's a 1,000 feet of a public school, any level public school, including a college, it adds an additional five years onto the penalty phase. And if they have any other cases pending, the cases cannot run concurrent. They have to stack those on there. So if it gets two 15-year penalties, they stack them. So that can be a 30-year sentence for two cases. 